Hey guys, what is up? John here from flyonmycalvin.com coming to you today for another Two Minute Tuesday. Two minutes is on the clock. We're gonna keep it to two minutes. We're really gonna try today. Really, really gonna try hard. Let's go intro. So our topic today is talking about high pressure and low pressure when you're flying to it. Where's the wind gonna be coming from and what sort of weather can you expect? This is a written test question you'll see on instrument, commercial, CFI. You'll see it out there definitely on your FA written. So let's set up a few knowns here right now. We have high pressure area, good weather, low pressure area, bad weather. So that's what we're gonna stick with here. Low pressure means bad weather, high pressure means good weather. Now, let's say there's some low pressure over Florida and some high pressure over the Midwestern United States. We're gonna fly today, I don't know, from Kansas towards Florida. So we're flying from a high pressure to low pressure. Now, low pressure systems always turn counterclockwise in the Northern Hemisphere. Hurricanes spin that way. Just remember how hurricanes spin. They spin counterclockwise. Now, high pressures always spin clockwise in the Northern Hemisphere. High pressure, think about how much pressure is in the Atlantic Ocean, right? That's a very high pressure area, all that water. Well, the Atlantic Ocean current spins clockwise as well. So clockwise, the way the Atlantic Ocean turns, counterclockwise, low pressure, how hurricanes turn, all right? So if we have our area of low pressure over Florida where the weather is bad, spinning counterclockwise, and we have our good weather up around the Midwest, spinning clockwise, that's the direction of the winds aloft because the winds around a high pressure or low pressure up high flow parallel to the isobars, right? At the surface, they flow from high to low. It makes sense, surface friction stops that. But due to Coriolis effect, when we have wind up high and we have a high pressure, it's going to spin clockwise when we have high pressure, counterclockwise with low pressure. So we're flying from this high pressure to low pressure boundary. We have the wind spinning counterclockwise there, clockwise here. That means we're going to have a crosswind from our left. Crosswinds from the left in the Northern Hemisphere mean you're flying from good weather to bad. Crosswinds from the right mean you're flying from bad weather to good, from low pressure to high pressure. Now, that can also help you think about how you want to be adjusting your altimeter. Maybe think, hey, I'm flying from high to low. I should look out below and get another altimeter setting here. Now. This works wherever you are, right? We can put the high pressure here, the low pressure there, it still works. We can put the low pressure there, the high pressure here, it still works, right? We're always going to have left crosswind going to bad weather, right crosswind going to good weather. Now, what if you have a headwind or tailwind? Well, you're just flying kind of along and you can expect probably similar weather with that headwind or tailwind wherever you're going until you start getting any sort of crosswind component in there. You can expect similar weather because you're kind of flying around the area of that frontal boundary. So that's basically what they're looking for on your written test for those answers. So just remember high to low look out below. That's what we use for all altimeter settings. High to low look out below for weather because you might fly into bad weather and crash. So there's a little memory aid you can try to use. Kind of not such a pretty one, but hey, it works. It's vivid. So either way, guys, hopefully that helps you for your FAA written exams. This and so many other tips are online at flyatmikehealth.com. So if you like this video, if you like our other YouTube videos, definitely check out the website at flyatmikehealth.com. Tons of helpful information on there. Over 500 videos on the site. And we have a full private pilot, instrument pilot, commercial pilot ground school in the boot camps to get you ready for your check ride, along with seaplane training, tailwheel training, crosswind landing courses, airspace courses, so many other awesome courses on there. There's even a course about how to kill mosquitoes the most efficient way when you're in Alaska, because these things are just absolutely vicious. Um, if you ever lose your engine, just you know, get a whole bunch of mosquitoes to fly and flap their wings and they'll just carry your airplane right away for you. you. I literally might get carried away right now by these things. It is so awful. Either way, guys, you know what to do. Leave your questions in the comments below if you have them. Email us for, at flyatmikealf.com if you have any questions. John at flyatmikealf.com or CFI at flyatmikealf.com. And we'll see you guys in the next video.